these are the 10 reasons why I prefer the standard OR bed. I've just done, well, one is I've done it, number 11 is I've done it this way for 31 years. Uh, but uh, here are my disclosures. Uh, the first is cost. Uh, despite what John says at $27 a case, that's just the table. And you saw it took a whole room to store his six tables. Not every OR has a room to store six tables. There's also the maintenance contract. There's the expense of the fluoro. There's the tech. Uh, it's a, all in all, it does add up over time in a, in a time where you don't want to spend your hospital's money or you don't want to spend your ASC's money. Or if you take this operation on the road to Central America or other places, they just simply do not have this. If you have a regular OR bed, you can do this operation anywhere, anytime, under any circumstance uh, without consideration of cost. <clears throat> Availability is the other thing. You have surgeons now you know, arguing over robots, uh, arguing over uh, tables. Uh, you know, resources are precious, so uh, then it becomes a, a fight over who gets the table that day. Setup is easy. Uh, you can have a table where you have to ha also have this cart of accessories, or you can have uh, three or four of these uh, gel bumps on the, on the uh, shelf, and that's all the accessory that we require. Uh, the setup is easy, uh, very quick and easy. We don't have a six-minute turnover time, but uh, we have a very short turnover time because we just put an arm board on the opposite side, uh, we use a single leg exposure, uh, and then to put that gel bump I just showed you, that goes underneath the SI joint on the operative side, and now we're ready to drape and go. So, very easy. Also, uh, you know, now some people have buyer's remorse about this. I looked on eBay, and here's uh, someone selling their uh, HANA table, uh, $70,000, and Mark, take note, no returns. They don't want it back. So, uh, if you buy one, you're stuck with one. Also, extra personnel. Someone's got to run this table. And you know, if you're in, in maybe you're from John's OR, it's great. You've got someone who's there every single day. But if, you're, if you don't have a dedicated person to run the table, you might get someone who is, becomes a really frustrating obstacle to your completing the case. Put the leg up, put the leg down. I can't tell you the number of tiny little subtle moves I make during the case. So I just move the leg half a millimeter, half a centimeter, just to facilitate my exposure. I would have to tell someone to do all that, and that would become very frustrating. A potential injury. Uh, uh, Trevor mentioned that. Uh, there's just a remarkable similarity between James Bond here and uh, uh, John's OR setup, so I uh, don't have to worry about that. We don't use fluoro. Uh, we don't have to pay for fluoro units. We don't have to have radiologists read x-rays that we can read ourselves, and we don't have to waste the time bringing the machine in and out. Uh, definitely not. Also. I would not want to wear an x-ray jacket as attractive as these are. I would not want to wear an x-ray jacket five minutes, much less 35 minutes or 45 or an hour. Don't want to do it. I noticed John had a regular OR hat on. Now, this is the modern version of the tinfoil hat, but uh, if you really want to protect yourself, you should get this full outfit that she has. Or if you really want to go all out, do what this guy does and wear the glasses, the hat, the jacket, because he's worried about the worst of chronic and constant use of radiation. We don't have to worry about that. Additionally, you don't have to go very far to see three or four or five companies telling you how they have a product to correct parallax, they have a product to correct electromagnetic radiation in the room, because the images you're seeing are not accurate and not real, which makes me wonder, then, why are we using it? So that's out there. Does fluoroscopy improve limb length? John said he uses it for accuracy, but in fact, it doesn't. There are many studies that show, or there are certainly sufficient studies to show, that there's no difference in post-operative limb length uh, discrepancy with or without fluoroscopy. Same thing for cup positioning. Here's pretty good cup positioning using with fluoroscopy. Looks pretty good, but actually, if you don't use fluoro, it's like you put the choke on your shotgun, you've got a much tighter grouping without fluoroscopy. Extreme positioning. You can drop the foot, you can twist the body in all kinds of positions, but here we are doing a, a femoral preparation with just external rotation, adduction. We're barely moving the limb. Much easier on the patient. Stability testing. We can run the leg around any way we want. We don't have to take it out of a boot, put it into a boot. We can push the leg everywhere we want and, and adequately test the hip. Newer isn't better. I mean, the one thing that hasn't changed in my practice over 31 years of doing this is the table. I've adopted new things here and there, uh, modified the technique, but the one thing that hasn't changed is use of a regular OR bed. You know, we have uh, this guy, he has a new technology. Every once in a while this goes off the rails or even bursts into flames. So newer isn't always better. Also, there's such a plethora of tables, 
each one with its own claims, it's kind of like patellofemoral surgery. If there's 100 different operations, we just haven't found the right one yet. It's like this guy underneath his car. He's got 100 tools out here, not, not one for the right job. If you have that many tools, you're probably using the wrong tool. Safety and extensile uh, capability is also part of this discussion. You can drape the leg as you do for a table, uh, and just drape it off, but what happens if you have to extend? If you're using this kind of setup, you can't do that. If you're off the table, you've got full access to the femur and the pelvis and the acetabulum, you can address any problem that arises. You can extend easily. We've shown this in a previous paper. And number one, it's the results. Uh, we look back, uh, this is 1983 to 2000, uh, 2100 unselected patients, all sizes, uh, very low complication rate. Also, others have done this. There are many studies in the literature showing low complication rates, and good outcomes with uh, off the table, no fluoroscopy. It's an accepted, uh, time-tested, uh, successful, and satisfactory technique. So with a standard OR bed, lower cost, oh, it's always available. There's one in every single room. The setup is easy, no extra personnel, no table injuries, no fluoro needed, minimal limb manipulation, and easy stability testing. And then finally, newer is not better, and the results are definitely a winner. Thank you.